How old were you when you flew your first kite? Uh, I'm not really sure, but it's probably around seven or eight. We used to have an empty field behind the house where we could go out and play. And what was your favorite part about flying kites? Uh, just seeing how much string you could get to have them, have them go out. We used to tie them to the picnic table overnight when it was windy and they'd stay up all night. The tail helps to keep it from spinning around and going wild because it gives it a little more weight. There's a cross crossbar that goes into the slots. And you bend it a little bit. Right there, pretty simple. Okay. This is where the hook goes for the string. Let's put this together. Okay. Now the way to fly the kite, it's supposed to be 5 to 18 mile an hour winds, and we just have a light breeze. So we may have difficulty flying the kite, but if we're lucky, I have an alternative for those non-windy days. So to fly the kite, you have to get, you want to get the wind at your back, like this, so that it'll pull. So you need to have the wind blowing, but there's hardly any wind. So you get it. And when you pull on it, that makes it climb. And then you let more out. Like I say, there's barely any air blowing here. So, what you can do is you can have a helper, and then you get it tight, you're ready, and the helper can kind of throw it up in there a little bit. So there's your lesson on how to fly a kite. Unfortunately, there's no wind tonight. So what you need to do is have a couple of beers and then get your kite ready and you go get on your lawnmower. So that's what we'll go do right now. This is how I've learned how to fly a kite.